Hello and welcome to Credit Matters. My name is Mimi Barker and I'm Director of Communications in the Corporate Ratings Group. We're talking today with Betsy Snyder, an analyst in our transportation group who follows, among other things, car rental companies. So Betsy, Dollar Thrifty Automotive Group is going to be acquired by Hertz today and we've put both of their B-plus ratings on Watch Negative. So first, give us the background to this deal. Okay, the background is this has been going on for a few years, since April of 2010, when Hertz made its first bid for Dollar Thrifty. Subsequently, Avis Budget came in and bid, and then Hertz made another bid, and then Avis Budget was back, and then last fall, all the bids were terminated, things went quiet, and now Hertz is back again today with its uh, bid that is substantially higher than both of its previous bids. Okay, so maybe th the third time's the charm. Could be. Yeah, all right, so what's the size of this deal? This transaction is 2.6 billion and the assumption of 1.6 billion of uh, DTAG, DTAG, which is dollar thrifty, mm -hmm. DTAG's uh, debt, which is all asset-backed debt. We do not rate any of their corporate debt anymore. And so it's going to be comprised of $2 billion of financing that Hertz already has lined up from banks. And it will also include Hertz, some Hertz cash and some DTAG cash. And the, we will be certainly be looking at what the impact this will have on the company's financial profile, the combined entity's financial profile, because that's, uh, you're talking about the uh, over three, 3.6 billion of incremental debt for, for the combined entity. Okay. How do the how do the two stack up when putting them together? Do they what are the size of the fleets and Well, Hertz uh, there are three major competitors in this industry. You have Hertz, you have Enterprise which has the Enterprise, the Alamo and the National brands, and then you have Avis Budget which has the Avis and Budget brands. Both Enterprise and um, Avis Budget have value brands. Hertz does have a small one, but it's advantage, it's relatively small. So I think that's what's driving this acquisition for them. It will allow them to grow in this space, which they've been a relatively small player in. Now this is going to need regulatory approval, and as part of that, they will have to divest their Advantage brand and also some of the Dollar Thrifty locations on airport locations. Okay. So that that's, um, but they'll st it will still help their business profile uh, substantially from where they are now. Okay. And we have them both on a, a watch negative, which means that we'll review the credits within like 90 days. Yeah, the, the company has indicated that they expect this transaction to close before the end of the year. Um, so we'll, we'll certainly be watching how that progresses, but as part of our Credit Watch resolution, we will be looking at the uh, pro forma impact on the company's um, combined business risk profile as well as financial risk profile. And we have indicated that if there is a downgrade, it would be at most one notch. Okay, well thank you very much. And thank you for joining us today. Please take a look at the two uh, releases in the related content tab regarding this merger. Thanks.